Hey guys, this is a video on how to make a muzzle flash. Sorry for the bad quality. Oh, I can see bad quality, but anyway, I'll click it and capture from video device. Just saving the video, what I'm about to do. And, um, so it's taking a while, just say, that says start clip. And I'm just doing the clip now. I've stopped it. Finished. Just saving a bit. Here's my video down here. You got the video. Sorry for the bad quality. But anyway, what you have to do is go to the frame right before you um right before you shoot so as you can see there it is split the video and um it'll go black for a second then take a picture when the pictures come back uh, then just save it so you got it there then open up pain stop there I don't know what version you need for this but I've got the right one. Um, so it's just loading it now. So it's loaded up and just have to open the image into it. And um, yeah, so we'll just wait for this to come up. <coughs> I got a cold. Um, go onto internet and Google search and go into Google Images. Sorry about the slow computer. So go onto Google Images and type in muzzle flash. And this one's my favourite one here and just copy it. So um here uh, now and there it should say in, paste into new layer. So you just get it down and position it wherever you want it to be. So I have to it like that. Then you go to the tools bar. Now I did something to mine, I don't know where it is now. But go into the tools bar and get select the magic wand. So we've got the magic wand right here. Press the black bit and press the scissors at the top and it will take it all out. Then you press effects, go down to photo, and then go on to blur, no glow. Then turn all the glow up right to the top. So once you doing that, go back onto effects I mean, then go on the photo, then soften portrait, send all them up to the top, and press OK. So you've got a pretty decent muzzle flash right there. Then you save it as you go below where you name it and press it and then go into JPEG. It won't work if you don't go onto JPEG. And then you yeah, save it. And I've named it the same, so just press yes. Then press OK, then flatten. Which will flatten the muzzle flash onto the picture. So then you go back onto Move the Maker. And see, so your picture should have updated now. So mine just came on blank, I don't know why. And uh, I tried shortening it, but it didn't quite work fully. It sort of stayed on there for a long time. I'll show you the finishing result at the end um, of this video, and it won't be in bad quality or out. Promise. So, <clears throat> we're just going through this. 
and then press speed up double, then press add as much times as you can. So when I looked at this I think it was too short. So I'm just trying to make it longer. So I just take the everything off it, all the speed ups off it. And um yeah. Try and make it longer, it don't work. So I just put it back in the place. and speed it up, not that much. I think I do it three times. Yeah, I do it three times and uh, I'll just show you what it looks like at the end. And it give me a good time to just say, please uh, comment, rate and subscribe for us on the game after try to get big. Um, we're trying, um, well, we're trying hard, like, ed editing the videos on Windows Movie Maker, it's quite difficult. And you can just put some sound off there, got that off Sound Bible. And, um, once again, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, hopefully this will get a lot of views. Probably won't because of the quality, but anyway, this is all done with Windows XP and it's just showing you this version but here it is, here's the main version so here it is.